सेक्स फैक्टर्स हेल्पफुल इन ट्रीटिंग इन फर्टिलिटी इफ द कपल इन्वॉल्व इन फोर प्ले इंक्लूडिंग द स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ निपल एंड प्लेटोरिस of the female as it goes into the plateau phase of sexual response there is a ballooning of inner end of vagina that act like a receptacle of holding the semen os of the uterus widen and the cervix of the uterus dips dips down in the pool of the semen second in man on top position of intercourse if woman keep a pillow under her buttock separates and flexes her thighs on her abdomen deeper penetration and ejaculation near the os is possible if she remain in this position after the intercourse it is this causes semen from escaping out of vagina in knee elbow position of the female during the intercourse the cervix of the uterus gain easier access to the seminal pool especially if the uterus is retroverted intercourse during the fertility period around the ovulation period the chances of fertilization are more mostly the ovulation period is a mid of cycle leave the first 10 12 days remaining middle of the 10 days regular intercourse and end again you can stop during the fertility period the woman should remain in bed in a supine position for about 30 minutes after the intercourse during this period there is a chemical reaction between the constituent of the semen the clotting enzyme of prostatic fluid causes the fibrinogen of seminal vesicle fluid to form a weak coagulum which then dissolve during the next 20 minutes because of lysis by fibrino lysine in the early minutes of the ejaculation the sperm remains relatively immobile because of the viscosity of coagulum however after the coagulum dissolves the semen becomes colorless and watery thin and the sperm become high highly motile in fertility due to the unconsummation it is not uncommon to come across a couple refractory to the management of unconsummation especially when it is due to the vaginismus premature ejaculation relative importance are due to the hyper sensitive glands the disparate couple may request for help for having a child the following simple and non no cost procedure now known as bedside aih done by the couple itself can help in having a child couple need counseling prior to the procedure and should be informed that the child is born by the union of sperm and ovum and that the role of the penis in fertility is no more than syringe to convey the sperm to the vagina using the syringe for fertility does not harm the baby in any way in iad and ivf similar procedures are employed the man is asked to ejaculate by masturbation in a small clean dry and wide mouthed bottle the semen is aspirated in a 5 ml sterile disposable syringe the nozzle of which is cut off earlier 
the air bubbles from the syringe are removed and the semen is pushed in the vagina this procedure is done daily or on alternate days especially during the fertile period from 11th to 17th day in a woman having 28 days menstrual cycle infertility due to the male orgasmic disorder inhibited male orgasm and ejaculation this is not uncommon in our country some are able to ejaculate in sleep but not by masturbation or during the coitus in such males before going to sleep they may be asked to wear a condom that has been repeated washed under the water and it's thoroughly dried the semen collected in the condom can be dis- deposited in the vagina with the help of 5 ml syringe results when successful are generally rewarding the couple has great sense of achievement they show better compliance for further therapy